Hi everyone, I'm Irma and in this tutorial I'll show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress site. There are two ways of doing it and both ways include adding the Google Analytics code snippet to your site. And you can do it either with the help of a plugin or by adding the code manually. First, I'll show you how and where to get the Google Analytics code snippet in the first place. Start by logging into your Google Analytics account. I've done that already. So from here, go to admin here on the left and the bottom. And now here at the property, click on tracking info and tracking code. Okay, this is the code that we are looking for. So you can now either copy it or just leave this tab open because we will need it. Now I'll show you how to add Google Analytics to your website using a plugin. Before I show you how to do this, I have to clarify that most WordPress experts will suggest using as little plugins as possible. So for a task as small as this, it is recommended to use a multi-purpose plugin that you will also use for other things later on. So with that said, I'll use the Visual Composer website builder to add the Google Analytics snippet because it is a full website builder and it also allows adding custom CSS and JavaScript to your site globally. When you've got Visual Composer installed and activated, go to Visual Composer here and then click on Dashboard. Now we'll have to open the CSS, HTML and JavaScript tab. And now locate the custom HTML and JavaScript part here. So now we have to go and grab that Google Analytics code, copy it, and all you have to do is paste it in here. Now save changes. If you don't want to use a plugin, let's move on to how to do the same thing, but without a plugin. To add the Google Analytics code manually, you'll have to modify your theme files. I recommend using a child theme for this to not mess up things in the theme that you're using at the moment. Once again, the first step is open your WordPress dashboard, but now you have to locate appearance and theme editor. But what we have to do now is locate the theme header because that's where the Google Analytics code has to go. Now again, if you don't have it copied, do it right now. What we have to do now is paste the code snippet here, right before the closing head tag. That looks like this. And again, simply update the file. That is it. Now you can proudly track your visitors that come to your site. At this point, Google Analytics will start to track your site visits and you'll be able to better understand your traffic and where it comes from. So as always, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!